Gemini's. Hi guys. Welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is your love reading. I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and safe. Okay. Sane. I find a lot of people are just wanting to maintain their sanity. So, hope you're sane. Alright. Let's get into your love reading. Remember, the roles can flip. I could be doing this reading for a cross-watcher. So take it how it resonates. Do not try to make it fit your storyline, okay? Just take what resonates and keep it pushing. Like my mom says, eat the meat and throw away the bone. <laughs> All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Universe, Source, what messages of love do you have for Gemini? Giving them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, clarity, freedom, and peace of mind. Yes. What messages do you have for Gemini's in love? Alright, one more shuffle, guys. There we go. Your underlying energy at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords showing up. Showing up in your reading, Gemini. This is air sign. Ooh, Gemini. This Queen of Swords does not play. Um, she could go real cold on you, but she does cut out the BS. Male or female, she cuts it out. She doesn't play. She speaks truth. She lets you know. She could even be... The HBIC, okay? She um she can be mean. She can be, you know, we all have the shadow sides, but she can be mean. She could be uh she could say some very cutting words. Um, but she's about her she she she's a boss, man. Okay. So let's see how Queen of so let's see how she shows up in the reading. All right, what is the current love energy for my Gemini's? Okay. Five of coin in reverse with the ace of cups. Okay, so she's still showing up at the bottom. I didn't even get to shuffle those. Okay, five of coin in the reverse. Um, The five of coin in the reverse talks about Ending something difficult. Ending a difficult time, okay? Because upright, it's you going through a difficult period, having money problems and despair, all this stuff. But in the reverse, like, it's ended. And you could have new love, Gemini, with this Ace of Cups. So whatever situation you were going through, it appears to have ended and new love is headed your way, okay? So Gemini, I haven't had one of those blow me away good readings for you. So I'm kind of hoping this goes in that direction. All right, so far so good. So let's see. Why is the five of coin here? Why is the five of coin in the reverse? Excuse me, here. Okay. So we have the three of wands reversed. Ooh, death card page of wands all right so the three of wands reverse so um so you're coming out of a difficult period okay um because something there was like i don't know maybe you've made some mistakes maybe there was a lack of progress um could be dealing with the fire sign you have the page here um, or there was just some sort of communication. It, it, this, this lack of progress, this, this energy, hold on, what's the energy behind the Three of Wands reverse? Knight of Swords with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Um... Okay, pursuing. Okay, were you trying to get out of a, a situation? Maybe, I mean, maybe you were trying to get out of this difficult period. Um, 
and maybe you just you didn't have the pro like that process was not happy like it was slow should I say um so you maybe you and your person you guys were just in a bad you guys had just had a you, you guys had a period of just difficulty okay and I feel like you're you were trying to get out of that you are trying to get out of it um and here I mean you're pursuing this ten of cups reverse though so I mean I have the death card here this is Scorpio I'm, I'm gonna put this back um I just wanted to see why this three of wands was here in the reverse um, you could be dealing with the Scorpio at the death card, but this is, this talks about ending some type of communication, right? Why is the page of wands here? And the page usually has good news. Why is the page of wands here? Or if somebody was out exploring or trying to discover something like that's ended. Okay. Another page, page of pentacles. So if your person was out trying to explore something or you were, um, <laughs> this has ended and you guys could have communicated. Not very in depth, but you, you communicated like, or, or started open dialogue, the open communication to maybe reviving your relationship. Like let's revive and, and you know, CV, CV, code, code name, CV, could have put you guys in this energy, stuck in the house together, not stuck, but you know, we're in the house together, we're here all day with each other, you know what, this might be a perfect time to address some of our issues, you know what I'm saying, what's the energy behind the page of wands, okay, Oh, okay. Yeah, it's communication. It's slow communication. Okay, it's you guys are you guys are talking. That's good. Let's get the ball rolling, because there's a revival here. I think this is gonna just help come out of this period. It's like okay, good. At least we we opened the book, right? We started the sentence. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. So let's see. And if this is not a new person, this could just be emotional fulfillment, like fulfillment and love the start over right with your person so why is the ace of cups here okay your marriage so i think i think things are going well for you guys this is your commitment a, a, a start of your relationship like your marriage it's like starting over or starting the love again or fulfilling each other emotionally that the ace of cups has this emotional tie because it's a cup, right? I mean, this card is literally, this cup is literally in the ocean, like in the water. So it's just like all these beautiful emotions. Why the Hierophant? Oh no, that's too many. Okay, hold on. They all came out reversed. Okay, why is the Hierophant here? And that's Taurus energy, just, you know, just saying. Why is the Hierophant here? Oh, okay, okay, the Strength card, Leo energy. Um, so, you guys are taking control, okay? There is, again, I'm getting, you, you, you're finding courage and strength because there, this is difficult. This has been difficult, okay? Why is the strength card here? This is beautiful. Very beautiful. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Okay. Um, yeah, because, okay. So, what was happening is you, you needed the strength, you needed the courage to get this new beginning started because... The Three of Pentacles, there was no work being done on this marriage. There was nobody putting in effort. Everybody had their own thing, preoccupied here, preoccupied there. I'm doing this, you know. That, that's what was going on. The Two of Wands in the reverse. Um, I, I feel like someone 
wasn't like there was a fear of like not knowing what's gonna happen like kind of knowing like listen like there's a problem here and without someone putting an effort like we're not doing anything like that could only lead to something bad so there's a there's this fear of not knowing what's gonna happen so somebody had to do something you know what i'm saying like somebody had to do something very nice. Okay. Well, sh 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 so taking control, having those conversations, opening, opening up the dialogue, communication. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. At least, like I said, at least get it started. Look at the ace. Ace of cups at the bottom. Okay, you guys. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. All right. So what... Let's see what what's the obstacle, okay? Let's do that. We don't need to pull up the the, the past because you it looks like you guys are moving in to a new beginning, like something um you know starting over kind of thing. So let's not go into the past. Let's see what is the obstacle here, okay? All right, what's the obstacle here between Gemini and their love interest? Okay, the page of wands wanted to pop out. So if someone's putting into the page of wands, it was trying to come out. Maybe this person, maybe your person was out, you know what I'm saying, acting, exploring their options. I don't know. what What's the obstacle here? Because I'm just saying the page of wands wanted to pop out. What is the obstacle here? Okay. Okay, the eight of wands. Okay. This this came out already. I think you guys do not communicate. You don't communicate enough. Like there's not enough movement or action or talking or you know what I mean? It's small and slow and you got to see it through, okay? That's the obstacle. Talk, express your feelings. You came off as the Queen of Swords. That is your card. So I know you have some things to say, Gemini. I know Gemini has some things to say. So, um, okay. So we have the Eight of Wands reverse. So why is the Eight of Wands here in reverse? King of Pentacles. That could be your person. Um, Taurus. That's Taurus card. Aries, I believe. Um, any earth sign, any, the king of pentacles, someone who takes care of theirs, their boss, they're in charge, they're good with money, blah, blah, blah. Good person, right? Cool people. Why is the king of pentacles here? Oh, the hierophant. Again, so you're, you're married. I feel like you're in a married or definitely in a long-term commitment, a very traditional type of relationship. Why the hierophant? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Aww. And, uh, so the obstacle, uh, nobody's talking. Nobody's taking any action. There's no movement in the commitment. And I feel like somebody is just in a bad mood. Like very unhappy. You know, there could be... I know I keep getting this inaction. No movement. Nothing. There's no nothing. Like very dull very um no spark you know what i'm saying like you guys got to get that old thing back you know because i'm feeling like it's not there and if i remember correct jim and i felt like i've done readings like this this could be the same group or a new group or whoever you know take it how it resonates but i feel like some of the other readings were you trying to fix this marriage like you were trying to put in the effort and you were not going down without a fight and so now i feel why do i feel like your person is you know like there's open dialogue now so maybe they are talking even though the obstacle is communication taking action but somebody's in a bad mood they're like very unhappy why is the empress reversed the devil card okay ace of wands yeah you guys are you guys even sexually active like there could be no sex there could be no passion no 
nothing creative happening. It's just dull and like I don't know you guys. It's just I'm not getting anything like positive that's this is the obstacle. This is what's wrong. This is your issue. You know what I'm saying? You guys could have some just some patterns that are not contributing to the to the happiness of this relationship. Um you know yeah. So there's commun there needs to be more communication. Somebody's in a bad mood. Let's see, what is the energy behind the eight of wands reverse? Oh man, the sun in the reverse. So this is usually my breakup card. I mean, you guys could have break broken up, gotten back together, but this is a card of loneliness and unhappiness. You know what I'm saying? This is a breakup card. Why is the sun reversed? The magician. Somebody there's like there's a some low self-esteem here. Oh my goodness. There's insecurity, like you guys could not somebody could just be insecure within themselves and the relationship like there's no trust oh gemini my lord so you guys are trying to talk you're trying to revive it you're trying to come out of a difficult situation because you have a lot going on just saying there's a lot of issues here and talking is the first step i mean you could even take it further and go to counseling but start at home first he's like okay look we tried talking we need a mediator. We need somebody who don't know us. We need somebody, you know, to be <laughs> the mediator, the person in the middle. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. What's going to be the potential outcome here for Gemini? Ooh, lordy lord, you guys. All right, what's the potential outcome here for Gemini and their love interest? What is the potential outcome for Gemini and their love interest? Oh, oh, I did get a card. Hello. Where is it? Oh, we got the lovers. Y'all seen it. The lovers. Okay. So this is love, obviously, romance, optimism. Um, but this is also decision making, you know, something choosing. This could be choosing each other, choosing love, choosing your marriage. Justice is at the bottom. So you guys might just make this work. This is doing the right thing. Equality, honor. Um, uh, oh my goodness. I drew a blank. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Virtue. You know, being in balance. More, more balance. So why is the lovers here? But I also saw the four of cups under the, under the justice card. So it's probably not going to come without some sort of regret, some feeling bad. You know what I mean? Because, you know, with the Queen of Swords there, you might start, you guys might start saying things that the other person doesn't like. It's going to make them feel bad. But this is a part of the heal. You have to heal from it. You have to forgive and find resolution and make change and change behaviors. I mean, this is not going to be a walk in the park. Just saying. So the lovers is here. Why is the lovers card here? For the potential outcome. Why is the lovers here? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nine of swords. So stress, worry. <sighs> okay. Anxiety even. Why is the nine of swords here? Okay. Hierophant. So I, I just feel like there's a, a, a worry about the marriage. Can we do this? Like, again, you're, you communicating is not going to be a walk in the park. Based on your obstacles, it's not going to be a walk in the park. Um, and who knows how long you guys have been together. It's going to take some time. I wouldn't rush it. I would try to be easy with the other person. Hear them out. If you have to use the debate method, go online, go to YouTube and see how they debate. You don't say anything while they're t while they're talking. You just write down what they said and you address it when it's your turn. That's difficult. I know. I tried it. It works though. When you you commit to doing it that way, you get a lot. You feel more productive. You feel like I, we've we've accomplished some things that really need to be said without getting upset or angry. Okay, so why is the Hierophant here? Not that getting upset is, hey, 
feel it because you know what I'm saying okay the wheel all right change so again this will change things if you're used to doing things and that whole devil energy you know what I'm saying with the kind of the, the patterns that aren't contributing to the happiness if you're used to doing that you're used to not talking so talking heck yeah it's gonna stress you out you know what I'm saying? You might even be like, dang, you know, you're going to get upset. You're going to get in your feelings and you're going to be like, can't we freaking do this? You know, like, yeah, you can do it, but you got to get it out in the open so that the other person is aware so that you're aware and you can fix it. Right. Why is the wheel here? Because I'm all about resolution. OK, somebody. OK, working on something. There's change here and the wheel is usually positive change okay something that works in your favor why is the eight of pentacles here okay king of swords again um so if this is someone who has gone cold this is you working on i mean this could be you working on yourself right because that's the real work <laughs> you know I, I mean who said oh jada jada and will smith they said, the way that we deal with our relationship is I work on myself, she works on herself, and then we come together. And then it makes working on the dynamics of this relationship, like, not so bad. It's not hard because I can't make you happy. You can't make me happy, right? It's like, what do I need to fix within myself, okay? Sorry, that just came to me. I, rem I just remember them saying that. Some of you, I know you've heard them say that. But that's how they do it. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is you working on yourself. Why is the King of Swords here? Man, that's beautiful. That right there. Okay. Ten of Wands. You might not like him. It's going to be exhaust. Working on yourself is exhausting. I'm just saying. <laughs> when you get down to, to the nitty gritty, you start digging and you start pulling back those layers and really looking in the mirror and addressing your traumas and oh my god let me just tell you it's not for the faint of heart because you will want to retreat and give up and run away and you have to just sit with it and be with it be with yourself sit with yourself love yourself like i don't care what you've been through i'm not abandoning you this you're saying this to yourself i'm not abandoning you i am here with you and you can even do this with your spouse. Like, look, I know you've been through a lot. I know we have not had the best relationship, but I'm not going to, I don't want to abandon you. I don't want you to abandon me. Like, I want you to stick, even though it's going to be difficult. We're going to be exhausted. You know what I'm saying? We might feel beat up after all of this, but we did it. Because on the other side of that, it's just like, ah, the light, the rainbow. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And then you learn a new way of, doing this relationship is not easy i'm not gonna even paint you that picture like all oh, you have to do this and do this and pow it's all over like no it might even take you the rest of the year to get to that solid place just saying give yourself that time all right why is the ten of wands here oh lord why is the ten of wands here okay oh ten of swords yeah, you six of sword, you guys. I'm trying to tell I'm trying to tell you. Just be forewarned, okay? This is not gonna be easy. But something I have the wheel here. The wheel is here. The lovers is here. It's not gonna be easy, but it's possible. Okay, the tennis store is gonna be painful. You really gonna you, you guys might really run make you may even feel like I can't do this. I'm bouncing. I'm leaving. I'm moving on. I'm not doing this. You might feel that way, but I don't, I don't, we'll get your advice, Gemini, but I don't know. I kind of feel like you should see it through. Why is the six of swords here? Rome wasn't built in a day. You know what I'm saying? Your relationship didn't get to where it is now overnight. Okay. Judgment with the emperor. You might not want to that you might not might not want to fix this when all of the skeletons start coming out truth starts starts being talked about i mean this that's one of the hardest parts most marriages don't even make it through this part because i used to read on you know marriage 
psychology and therapy people and stuff like that and most a lot of them don't even get through counseling therapy even um, because they can't handle the truth they can't handle how their spouse has been viewing them for 10 years you know what I mean how they feel what they wanted you know and it can get very sensitive because it could be like you know you let yourself go you used to dress a certain way and it's like dang I didn't know you know what I'm saying you start feeling some kind of way but it's like handle it take it handle it Gemini <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I never really liked your food even it don't have to be something that petty but if it becomes something small like that I mean that's not really small I mean you're feeding this person every day right and they just say you know I never really just like your food I just you know it's like okay they don't like my food don't don't beat up on yourself just say okay well what do you want me to cook that is being resolution oriented okay remember that okay you don't like my food what kind of food do you like because I've been slaving away in this kitchen for 10 years <laughs> feeding you and your children you know this is the feminine talking right you and your children and you know all this time you don't like my food like what like really it's a thing it's a thing okay resolution oriented all right what do you want me to cook moving forward okay you hate when I use you know oregano I won't use oregano anymore honey <laughs> I'll just put oregano on my be resolution oriented let's get your advice <laughs> sorry because I can go on and on about this I, I don't know I, I like I feel like I believe in you guys I believe that you can see this through you do have to have the strength you had the ju the uh, justice card coming no excuse me the strength card come out so let's get your advice what advice because i've been giving you my advice let's see what spirit says what what advice do you have for gemini okay the knight of cups but in the reverse um i don't know this card is this card talks about procrastinating avoiding something so ooh you guys avoiding procrastinating I already kind of feel something let's see why is the knight of cups in the reverse for Gemini's advice the justice okay so if you are avoiding and procrastinating talking taking action you know growing you know uh communicating growing moving forward in a positive direction this is telling you this is beautiful this is telling you to get it together okay you and your partner your 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 um your spouse to get it together we have the justice card here it's time to make it right it's time to bring things in harmony and in balance okay why is the justice card here it's time you guys how much long you gonna go another 10 years like this no queen of swords four of cups you you that's you gemini the queen of swords you could be feeling very remorseful here i i feel you know like you want to fix it maybe you feel like you know this you could feel like this is a lost cause like dang there's nothing else we can do four of cups feeling dissatisfied feeling bored you could be feeling bored but I feel like this justice card is here saying you know you can fix this like you can make this right you can get your just due you you guys can like make this happen like you can do it you can do it just saying the justice is here you can do it no more avoiding no more procrastinating okay Knight of Cups reverse. No more. No more not saying how you feel because this is also a card of being a, a fraud, right? Be like, oh yeah, I'm fine. You know, that passive aggressive stuff. I'm getting passive aggressive. I'm getting, um, yeah, not being truthful. Not being, uh, kind of just letting things go. Like, no more. And not to be petty. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do tit for tat, like, small things. But, like, things that you probably should speak up on. I'm getting all this. 
What's the energy behind the Knight of Cups reverse? Let's just see. Okay, yeah. So we have the five. Yeah, you're avo you guys are avoiding this. You've been procrastinating with bringing things up. The five of pentacles, again, this is your current energy, remember. And the five of pentacles in the reverse is talking about releasing the negativity. Because you guys could be arguing or this just conflict. You know what I'm saying? Like disagreements, conflict. Coming out of that, releasing all this. And really justice, making it right. Why the four of cups? And then... I'll let you guys go. Wish you the best. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. I think you feel like, yeah, I think you're just really dissatisfied with how things went. But I, I saw that you have open dialogue. Again, I have the Five of Pentacles reverse. So there's, there's uh, an energy to revive this, okay? To end all of this conflict, difficult period. I mean, you had the wheel of fortune. So this is, I feel like spirit is on your side. You have the star. Ooh, yes, look at this. Oh my goodness, I have the star. Divinely guided, okay? Divinely guided. This is communications of love, apologies. You know what I'm saying? We got the strength card. Here, again, having the courage, the strength, taking control of this situation. You guys, spirit, I, I feel very spiritual now. Like, you know, I usually don't feel those all the time, but I'm feeling like like spirit is on your side. The universe is on your side. They're, they're trying to get you guys to a better place. Oh, very nice. You Good luck, you guys. Man, I send you blessings on top of blessings and blessings and I just pray that you guys just maintain um compassion for each other peace love and just remember why you got together some of you why did I choose this person why did they choose me you ever watch this show called skin deep on here on YouTube it's called skin deep and I love I love it it's like 10 minutes of just couples asking each other in-depth questions and they have to answer them like you know why did you choose me when did you notice I first fell in love with you um how did you know I was the one you guys watch that tell you and your spouse y'all go watch skin deep on youtube okay guys sending you my love and I'll talk to you guys next time don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up Mwah. deuces